Today I'm going to talk about the collis plant. The collis plant is a beautiful plant, but my relationship with it is of abandonment. In the past, I bought a collis plant and basically I just abandoned it and I left it in the garden to nurture itself and for it to grow by itself. Now, over the last few weeks, I've been driving around sort of uh, roadside nurseries and all I just see are these amazing, brilliant colors of the collis plant and today I would like to honor the collis plant and together we can look at it and see how to repair this and that you too can enjoy this beautiful plant. My name is Alice and I'm the Red Soil Gardener. The collis plant is one of the easiest plants to look after. Now it comes in these beautiful brilliant colours and this is not even what I've seen on the market. You get amazing amazing colours, sort of dual colours, you get designs on their leaves. There's over 1500 varieties and cultivars. The other thing about the collis plant is that when you do plant it, it does like a well drained soil. Now what happens is that that if you do overwater it, it'll get root rot. But basically, it is a very easy plant to look after, provided that the soil is moist. If it does dry, if you put it in a pot, it's always good to make sure before you water it again, do the finger test, and it should be uh, at least dry within the first one inch, then you know that the plant needs water. Another sign is the wilting of the leaves. If the leaves do wilt, because it does lose a lot of evaporation, but if they do wilt, do water it. The third thing is that when in extreme temperatures of heat, the leaves may drop. Then you know you're in a dangerous position and then you need to nurture it and look after it to make sure that it revives again. Now, this is a collis plant which I bought. Now, if you notice, it does get very long and elongated, but the trick with a collis plant is that you have to pinch it, like deadheading, basically. So what you need to do is go up to the tip pinch it, remove the bud, or even if it's seeding, when you do get the flower, remove that. As you pinch the top, you should pinch all these other little branches. And I think in my previous episodes, what I try to emphasize, by removing the flower, you actually tell the plant, it's not time for seeding, start growing. So this is what you have to do. So what I'm going to do here is just pinch the tops of this collis plant as you see, remove them and what happens, you will start getting shooting out of these areas and around here and in that way you can even control the shape of the collis plant. So what I thought today is in order to show you what the beauty of the collis plant is also go into propagation so that you too can learn how to propagate and get these beautiful flowers. Now what I'm going to do is show you exactly where you need to snip. Now let's take Take it from this plant because it looks quite nice. The thing about propagating a collier's plant is you have to look for the junction, the node. And once you do get the node, is that it's a straightforward propagation. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to snip it, but remember to sterilize your scissors. So I am going to snip it here and get that plant. And also what I've done is that this is a different color and I've actually taken a cutting of this plant and I'm going to propagate that. So we could actually maybe propagate three of them. Now, what I'm going to do is, these are the nodes and that's where you'll get the rooting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these leaves and just snip them off and I'm going to remove that one because the whole point of removing the leaves is as you're propagating you want all the energy to go into the rooting and into the top leaves so I'm just going to remove that one and then I'm going to remove this one 
try to go really close. So what you're left is with maybe two leaves. Here I've got a third one, but two leaves. That should be enough to feed that plant. And I'm going to cut it just here below the node, like that, at an angle. And this is what I'm going to propagate in order to make a bigger mama plant. Sometimes when you do get a collis plant, and if you notice it's a bit squiggly because it's looking for the sun, I haven't really looked after these collis plants, neglect on my side, is that when you do a propagation, just be careful. What you need to do is get this stem, which is a soft stem, because what happens as it gets older, it becomes harder and that is not good for propagation. So if you were to propagate this, I would actually just get rid of the hard stem and it looks like a bark. So get rid of that and that's what you will propagate, the soft stem. So I'm going to dip it in my rooting powder And because they're quite delicate, the stem, I'm just gonna poke it with this so I don't disturb it. And there you go. And I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to dip it in water. Then I'm going to dip it in the rooting powder. And I'm going to take this and make a hole. Just make sure that when you do dip it, that the junction or the node where you saw it is submerged in the soil because that's where the rooting, that's where the rooting will take place. So there you are, already propagated. Now there is another method that you can propagate and it's basically just a water propagation. So let me just empty that out a bit. Here you are, for as long as the junctions or the nodes are underwater, and you'll get rooting from that. So there's the soil propagation, water propagation, and then the last thing is the seed propagation. So what happens is that you will get a sort of long a seed stalk, and what you do, take it, dry it, and once it's dried, sprinkle it on top of some soil and cover it very lightly, and within a few well let's say within a week you'll start getting your babies and then you nurture that and then remember put it in a smaller container then move it gradually into a bigger container and you'll have a collis plant so what i'm saying is that i want to honor the collis plant because basically i have neglected and i am making up today by doing a little display and the beauty about the collis plant because they come in so many different colors this is not even everything i want to do a combination of different colors in the pot the thing you have to remember with the collis plant is that some of them grow very tall and some of them are dwarfs so if you're making an arrangement just make sure that you arrange it in such a way that the dwarfs don't get taken over now because of this one here and I've got a place for it there is I've decided to take this maroon colas and put it at the back and then gradually go down and let's see how it works so I'm going to start so I'm going to remove this well-drained soil full of compost and manure and all those lovely nutrients. And before I even start, I'm going to get um, a slow releasing fertilizer. I'm going to throw it in there. Here we go. I'm just going to scatter it in there and I'm going to mix it first. And I'm just going to mix it a bit and just keep it at the top not so much on the bottom okay so now I make my hole for the colis I almost forgot that one um, here we go so I'm taking this tall one and I'm not going to break the roots that much and I'm going to plonk it here at the back and just cover it and make sure it's firm 
throw out all this dirty thing. So I thought I'd like this one because it has the maroonish brown. So what I'm going to do is actually take it, break the soil a bit, and I'm going to put it here. This doesn't grow as tall as the mauve one. So I'm just gonna put it here just to get a bit of color in the front. And this variety is a dwarf one. And I thought I can actually place it here in the front just to fill up that gap. Here we go. And I'm just gonna cover it. I might even add another one. Maybe I add this one, just to give it a bit of color here to pick up the green. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put it here in the front. I might even add one more of the dwarf variety here just to fill in that gap and I'll use this one. I'm going to put it here in the corner. Actually it looks quite nice. <laughs> so that's my flower arrangement, my pot of colas. So fellow gardeners, thank you so much for joining me and honoring my colas plant. Look what a beautiful plant it is. Look at all those beautiful flowers. I'm so proud of it. Don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will weekly give you an update as to what is happening with my colas plant. And we're going to try to make it much bigger and how to nurture it, etc. Thank you so, so much. Have a lovely day.